Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2017. My guest is Dr. Nitya Kemka from the University of Cambridge. Nitya is a high-level track facilitator for the WISIS process around bridging the digital divide. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Charlotte. So to start with, could you explain your role as a high-level track facilitator? So the high-level track facilitator and process is a very interesting medium. It involves a range of stakeholders from academia, civil society, the private sector and the government. I'm representing academia from the University of Cambridge. And it is essentially an unbiased, non-partisan voice in the WISIS process that can inform uh, the framework around WISIS. Uh, we are able, because we're unbiased, and non-partisan, we are able to ask the difficult questions and we're able to inform uh, the framework around which the rules of engagement happens during the WISIS conference. So Nitya, what are the main challenges to bridge this divide? There are several challenges with bridging the digital divide and I want to talk about what our panel has come up with today. Uh, there are gaps in uh, access and usage of ICT technology and there are several reasons uh, that have been identified for it, including problems relating to infrastructure, adaptation rates, awareness, as well as affordability. The second issue that came up was uh, it's very important to, to recognize that there are different types of divide, different barriers to entry for connectivity, including gender, economic uh, class, um, lack of skills, etc. So it's also important not to uh, pigeonhole everything into one category, but to recognize the different silos around digital divides. So you've identified the main challenges. What about the priorities and the opportunities? The priorities, I think, um, as our panel very uh, correctly identified, is really uh, building the next generation of ICT infrastructure. So what does that look? What does the future look like with artificial intelligence, et cetera? How do we think of the next generation of ICT infrastructure, particularly in developing societies? Um, the uh, other point was to reduce the cost of access. That's a very important priority, as well as to increase the digital literacy and to increase the efficacy and of, the, of these tools uh, of ICT that are offered to many uh, parts of the world that need it. Can you give us some practical examples, some case studies? So uh, the case studies um, that our panelists came up with were very interesting. They ranged from uh, different countries, from Pakistan to Costa Rica to Mexico to India. And um, what we found uh, was, uh, was very interesting was the, was the need for a blended approach that involved government on the one hand that provides an enabling environment, the private sector that can come in and through competition uh, uh, offer very competitive rates, and finally community networks that are very, very critical to pr provide local access solutions and I want to point out two interesting case studies uh, from my panel the first one was from India which is doing a huge amount of work uh, around its digital India program to increase access to the most vulnerable communities um, and the second was Costa Rica which had a very innovative scheme uh, that, that was funded around the resources raised around spe spectrum available to private sectors and used this money to bridge the gap in places with low population density um, in order to provide ICT services. Dr. Nitya Kemka, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.